Hi people online. Sorry you can't see me at the moment, but I really do look like I've just got out of bed. Sorry about the noise, it's just a crab tank filter. Just thought you might be interested in seeing me feed the crab today. Um, had a bit of trolling online on YouTube last night. I only put a mini video up when we first got her, just to sort of show her moving around. And I got accused of her having no dry land whatsoever. So, obviously, you know, don't teach brown rats suck eggs. I told them all about saute, all about my experience. But they just carried on saying the same stupid things. So I just muted, reported and blocked. But just to, um, as you can see, she's got plenty of dry land. To be honest, filming doesn't really um, give you the full size of the tank, nor the crab, to be honest. It does make things look a lot smaller, but I assure you, I could fit 10 of her in here and they'd all have plenty of room. Not that I would keep any crabs together. Um, I'll say the crab, by the way, because as some of you may know, I have a poll on Facebook at the moment because I decided on Regal and Galaxy as names for her, but I can't decide which of the two. Unfortunately, the poll's only up for 24 hours and it's at 50-50 at the moment, so it looks like you guys can't decide either. I'm waiting for a parcel delivering one of the scratching posts I ordered yesterday for the cats. So I thought I'd make this quick video just to show that I can actually hand feed this crab without risking myself too much because because she's female, her claws are a lot smaller. I do believe she's got the potential to get to the size saute where it's not bigger, but I don't believe her claws would ever get as big as his. She could still cause some legit damage, but nothing I'm too worried about. Nothing that, you know, a cocktail stick between the food and meat's not gonna be cause for concern, whereas we saute it probably would have been even though I've never been attacked. Not by one of my monster crabs anywhere. So here goes she fed really well the day before yesterday i don't feed my crabs every day but i give them a decent amount every other day same with my axolotls so i just thought you might like to see Find a nice cozy spot where she feels safe. So munch away and in 10 minutes that'll all be gone. Um, yeah, I still do need to polish the glass. I've been quite busy at the moment. But if I just show you guys externally where she is at the moment. And she's found a nice spot under the bogwood. So there you go. I'll see you guys later because I think my delivery's here.